Today, I'll be showing you how to perform calibrations in ProCal V5. There are two main ways to perform calibrations within the software. One is to perform a manual calibration, and the other is to use the field calibrator utility to download a tag to a calibrator, such as the Fluke 754, perform your work on that calibrator, and then upload that calibration back into the software. To enter a calibration manually, open the calibration screen and select the new record button. From here, you will select either instrument, loop, system, or test instrument from the item type drop-down menu. For this demonstration, I'll select instrument. Once you've selected your item type, select the item that is to be calibrated. At this point, navigating to any other field will cause the rolled dates and or close these items on calibration completion section to appear. This is where you will see messages pertaining to the passing or failing of the calibration such as the verification of the calibrated item's date rolling, the verification of the calibrated item's status changing, or possibly the generation of a compliance report as a result of a failure. The Test Results tab is where you will enter your as found and as left values. Once these fields have been populated with the correct data, you will select the Pass, Fail, or incomplete radio button, which instructs the system to act accordingly based on the designation applied. If the incomplete radio button is selected, the calibration remains in a state of limbo as far as its results are concerned. A calibration that is saved as incomplete cannot be finalized unless you have configured your company settings to allow that. The next thing you'll do is open your test instruments tab and apply the standard use for testing. The SOP tab can be used to either display a list of steps the technician must follow to complete the calibration or a link to a document that will describe the same steps or provide additional information the technician may need to complete his or her work. Once these things have been completed, you can save and finalize the calibration. If your calibration has failing specs, you may receive messages listing the failing spec points if you have configured your company to do so. You can look to the roll dates and or close these items on calibration completion section for any additional messages. The second way a user can perform a calibration in ProCal V5 is to use the field calibrator utility. To do this, the user must open the upload download screen and verify that the calibrator is connected. Next, select the tag to be downloaded and then select the Initiate Download button. Once the tag is downloaded to the calibrator, the technician can perform the calibration. Once the work is complete, the user will log back into the software, connect the calibrator to the computer again, navigate back to the Upload Download screen, open its Upload tab, and select the Initiate Upload button. Next, you will verify that all of the calibration information to be uploaded is correct, and then authorize the calibration record. Once this is complete, you can open the calibration record screen and navigate to the calibration you've just uploaded. And that's all there is to it. Now you've seen two ways to enter calibrations into ProCal V5.